Welcome to Deep Tub. You may know our guest from Mantown and Working Mobs. Tonight we're diving deep into doppelgangers with Adam Colley. that uh, I chose uh, doppelgangers as the topic for you? Probably because you have heard that sometimes I get that I look like someone famous. Yes. Yes. And I as well get that I look like someone famous. And who do you get? I get Zach Alphanakis. Okay. Okay, yeah. I can see that that's a lazy thing to do. Yeah, like guy with beard. This guy has a beard. Yeah. But, like, I've gotten it before the beard, too. And it's to the point where people are, like, even... I know it was, like, a crazy person. Like, they weren't, like, all there on the street. But they did, like, walk up to me and go, hangover. And then, like, walked away. And I was like, okay. <laughs> that's so weird. Because even if you were him, yeah. like, what, what are they expecting? And yours is Adam Levine. Right. Yeah. Yours is a better one. Because with mine... People are like, oh, you... And I get, like, you look exactly like Zach Alphanakis. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, like, really? Like... Yeah, I think people interacting with celebrities is very funny. Like, (laughs) uh, if I'm... If I'm on vacation somewhere and, like, I'll go to a nice restaurant or something, people will call out my name because my name is the same as Adam Levine. Yeah. And I will react as if I am him because that's my name. Yeah. So they will say... Uh, hey, Adam, what are you doing here? I'm like, I, I don't know. What are you doing? Who are you? And they're like, oh, you're not Adam Levine. I'm like, no. Oh, you don't know? Oh. And then they're very upset. Yeah. Because they feel like I've tricked them on purpose by doing um, my genetics. We uh, mentioned this to each other before, but it's like the shittiest thing in the world to be like, you look like this other performer as a performer. Yeah, because... If if you're watching a TV show and the TV show you see the preview and you're like oh my god like fucking uh, Zach Galifianakis is in the show that's great and you see it like oh that's not him at all you'd yeah. be really bummed yeah no one wants <laughs> like there already is that look yeah what other celebrities have like a doppelganger um uh, Javier Bardem and who and uh... What's the guy from Walking Dead that, like, killed the people with the baseball bat? Oh, God, I don't know. I don't know his name either off the top of my head. Was he in The Watchmen? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He played the Joker? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, people get that confused. (laughs) But, yeah, it's never a good thing. No. You want to stand out and be your own uh, look, but, I mean, you have it worse because... Zach is a comedian. Yeah, and this talk show is not helping me. But I mean, he doesn't do stuff in the tub. No, he? he doesn't. No, but he is Ferns. Yeah. Yeah. He has, like, a talk show thing yeah it's different this is different this is different he the president you've got um me Mm -hmm. yeah um so like thinking about uh doppelgangers on a deeper spectrum um what does that word like mean to you what does that kind of like bring to your head when you hear it it just seems like a, a a sinister word it sounds malicious like it sounds like this is a a thing that someone has attempted in a uh, in like a war setting. Mm. Like it sounds like a World War II German word for you're going undercover to yeah. fuck with this guy's life. It does have a sinister like kind of backstory to it. Okay. Because people say that everyone has a doppelganger. Um, like there is that person that looks like you, and I think more to the extent of our like celebrity lookalikes. I think it's yeah, like an yeah. actual person that looks like you. Uh, but, and that it's an evil twin and they will be like opposite. Like they, when you're born, part of your soul goes somewhere else. Oh my God. And it's like the evil version of you almost. Right. But then like a, like kind of like a freakier thing is that people say that if someone you know sees your doppelganger in person, then it means that you will fall ill or be sick. And if you yourself sees your doppelganger in person, then you will die. Holy Very shit. soon. That sounds awful. Yeah. So you're right up the alley with the Sinister. Uh, yeah. Have you seen Orphan Black? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, that first scene where she sees her, I mean, not a doppelganger, but like a, a genetic twin, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is instantly you're hooked. You're, yeah. you're like, that has never happened in real life. Uh, but that's fucking scary. Yeah. And yeah. The, the genetic twin, I think that's why uh, Tatiana is still okay. There we go. So we got this here, running a uh, segment of the show, uh, Inquisitive Jovi. Okay. Bon Jovi's going through this world. He's got a lot of questions. He needs to learn about different things, what's going on. Mm -hmm. Can you do this for him where you... Explain to him why he should be afraid of doppelgangers and if he has a doppelganger himself. So, why he would have a doppelganger is because he is a... What the hell is that? No, thank you. Absolutely not. Like, the last part of me not wanting those is because you're eating them in the tub. I don't care about that. The idea of getting any wetness on a cracker grosses me out. I'm fine with you in the tub eating them. Anyway. Yeah, there's like a little bit. And they're wheat things? Yeah, wheat things. That's a strange choice for a uh, snack in the tub. Go hungry. Um, bon Jovi probably has a doppelganger because mm -hmm. um, he's a celebrity and people mm -hmm. want to look like him. So even if someone doesn't exactly look like him, they would want his clothes and fashion their hair like him. Yeah. So, I would say that's why he would probably have more doppelgangers than not. Yeah. That's why he should be afraid of them yeah. is because thousands of people at any moment know where he is. Mm. So, if he says, I'm at this con I'm doing a concert, you can pay money and get access to him. Yeah. So, that's why, if this doppelganger theory is correct, yeah, yeah. Um, he should be very afraid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that just made me think of, like, kind of, like our problem with uh, being like, oh, like, people think that we're this person. But imagine, like, the celebrities thing where they just constantly have people coming up, and you know, like, people say, I look like you. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that's awful. <laughs> I think uh, that's worse. Well, I mean, it's hard to feel bad for a celebrity. Yeah, like, like you're right. that's true. They, they could be holding us back, and they're, like, rising to the top. With I think it's a good litmus test, though, for mm -hmm. uh, if a celebrity's an asshole or not. Yeah, that's true. Because I would say if you go up to a celebrity, no matter who you are, yeah. you'd be like, hey, man, you're awesome. People think we look alike. Yeah. And if that celebrity's like, yeah, yep. yes, absolutely, I see it. Oh, yeah, that's a good, that's that. a good guy. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a nice guy. Yeah. If he's like, you? Nah. Yeah, no, have you seen me? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, that would be an asshole. <laughs> I thought you were going to pull something else out from underneath you, like more crackers or something. So... The talk show is uh, sponsored by uh, Southpaw, now on Blu-ray and DVD, with uh, new original music from Eminem, uh, starring Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, Rachel McAdams. That's uh, Southpaw on Blu-ray now. Is it really? It's been on Blu-ray for a couple of years. Yeah. No, I was like, I was like <laughs> okay, it's not... This is... Where did you get the swag? <laughs> um, just because the movie loved that I saw it so much. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Uh, with Inquisitive Joey, to go back to that one, yeah. um, I think that uh, Bon Jovi's doppelganger is actually his guitarist because they always have the same haircut. Richie Sambora on him, they always get the same cut. I know very little about Bon Jovi. Yeah. So I'm going to say totally. Yeah. Because I don't know. <laughs> what Bon Jovi sings, It's my love and it's now or never. Okay. So, I got a bit of a thing here. Okay. It's like, kind of like a trivia thing. It's going to be a little bit different. You okay. win a prize if you uh, get this correct. Great. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to call my parents. Okay. Um, and on here, usually you have a trivia question, but today we have Match the Doppelganger. So, you're going to think of a celebrity doppelganger and try to match it with what they're going to say. Great. Okay. Which uh, answer do you want to go with? Sorry, who's the celebrity? Any celebrity pairing you want. Oh, a celebrity pairing? Yeah, any celebrity pairing. What do you mean? Just anyone. But, like, if one has like, to be look like the other? Yeah, if you're like, oh, Natalie Portman and Kira Knightley or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then what do I say? Would you say that? But then who, what are your parents guessing? I don't know. I don't understand the game. <laughs> Tell me about the game. This is my so, parents. Oh, to who they look like. No, no, no. no oh. No. 
That'd be good, though, too. Tell me what I'm doing. So, sorry, can I ask you, like, is he saying, like, okay, so Bill Pullman and Bill Paxton, are you saying, like, one of them, and you're guessing if they're going to say the other one? Or do you say a pairing, and then they say... And then they say a pairing, yeah. Oh, oh, so just in general, like, two people general. in the whole world who look alike. Yeah. Great. Yeah. It's a lot more vague than I thought. Okay. <laughs> okay. I am going to say Jonathan Taylor Thomas and okay. Jonathan Lipnicki. Okay. I don't like your chances. <laughs> Home improvement is a big show. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Calling them up. Hello. Hey, Dad. I'm here on the uh, Deep Tub Talk Show here with uh, Adam Colley. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. And uh, we got a little bit of uh, something different this time. Um, so I want you to say a celebrity doppelganger, two celebrities that you think look alike, and we're going to try to match that with what Adam said. Yeah. I found it hard too. Yeah, I find it pretty hard too. <laughs> Oh, that's a, that's a good one. It's a great one. It's better yeah. than mine. <laughs> John Ritter and his son. Is that? I can't remember what the son's name is. He just played in the movie here. That's what we're going with. Yeah. All right, Adam. What did you say? I said Jonathan Taylor Thomas and Jonathan Lipnicki. See, I don't know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kids from Home Improvement, right? Uh, one's from one's Home from Improvement. Improvement, one is from Jerry Maguire. Oh, Jerry Maguire, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, but thanks, Dad. You uh, didn't win this time, but... Better luck next week. Yep. <laughs> Bye. What a supportive dad. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if your dad was here, I wouldn't say this. Yeah. But he, he cheated. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a family. Well, I'll give you your prize anyways, though. <gasps> so I have this for you. Um, and this is to help you out with your uh, doppelganger situation. Oh, my God. Um, now you can be your own doppelganger. Oh! And I can be the slick, or the outlaw, or the rascal, or the shifty. Exactly. You can be whatever you want now. Yeah, I feel good about myself in my future. You come into someone's bathroom and your whole life changes. This is not the way it went the last time I was with the dude in the tub. How'd that go? It went fine. We both got clean, but yeah, both. I didn't get any mustaches. <laughs> there we are. Another episode uh, of Deep Tub uh, Down the Drain. Nice. Good out. <laughs> oh. If you want to see more of Adam Colley, look at the description below. We'll put all kinds of stuff down there. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for diving deep. Nice! So many good outs! You, oh, what about that, uh, like, that's curtain? Oh. It's curtain call? That's the way the curtain flows. That's not the same.